Uh, so I'm here with uh, Yaroslav, uh, one of the Link Digital developers. Uh, my name is Stephen DeCosta, and um, we're just going to talk through a CCAN X data.world extension that we've been working on with the folks at data.world over the last uh, six weeks or so. Um, it's just been released, and we're keen for people to take a look, see how it works, um, and maybe put some issues and pull requests into GitHub uh, and, and just let us know what they think of it. The, the purpose of sort of doing this work was really to show how CCAN can be extended with other systems to provide more data workflow um, options for those who already have a CCAN platform. So one of the benefits of the data.world platform is some of the um, networking around users and the ability to share data and code that's uh, created against that data. So uh, queries into data and things like that. Um, data.world also has some cool features around data dictionaries that can be coming straight from structured data, uh, such as well, tabular files. So you can, you can see a little bit more in data.world when the data sets and the resources are synchronized. So at this stage, I'm just going to hand over to Yaroslav, and he's going to do a quick demo of some of the features. And I'll come back at the end and talk about how people can join in and help with the code. Cheers. So I will share my screen and show how you can use the extension. Uh, so here I have a demo instance, and there is only one organization created now, which is called data.world, and the user I'm using now is uh, an admin for this organization. So there is one data set called your data set at the moment, and there is a configuration page of the organization uh, for data.world extension. As you can see here, uh, data replication and all the links they are uh, disabled at the moment. So now I'm going to create a data set and then the system will push it to data.world when I enable uh, data replication. So we will call it test data set. So now I'm going to add a resource to the data set. Uh, I will use uh, data GoVU for that, so that we can use real resource. Uh, so I'm trying to find some interesting CSV file. So let's like, Use this one, for example. So I use a link of the resource with its title and edit it as a CSV format. I put it. Yeah, the description. So the data set has been created. This private at the moment, as I'm not logged into the to data world. As a user, I'm going to publish as. I'll make it public so that you can see the data set there. Uh, so basically, when you go to your organization configuration page and click to data.world tab, here you can uh, enable the replication 
uh, of the data and show all the links to data.world. You will have to input some credentials like username and API key. So basically, you will find out how to do that using the tooltips. Um, so I'm going to enable the data replication. So now, as you can see, there are two up-to-date data sets, the ones that was created before and the ones that I just created with you. So if I go to my account here, I can see the data sets with all the data. So test data set is the one we just created. And as you can see, the resources here as well. Uh, so also uh, as links are enabled now, uh, the organization has this data.world page here, which links back to uh, data.world user, where you can find all the data sets associated with the organization. Uh, also, if you go to the data set, you can see the uh, promo box here, which uh, allows you to jump straight to the data set on data.world. And you, you, you can hide those links if you like. So now all the data will be replicated, but there are no links that shows that it was replicated. So you have the whole control on it. Uh, I will enable it because I like the links. And now uh, I'm going to create another test data set so that we can see that all subsequent data sets are replicated. So we will call it another test data set. And just as Yaroslav is doing that, I might mention the reason why we've done the replication at the organization level is so that uh, if you're a platform owner for a CPM portal and you only need to really enable your custodians at the organization level to have that decision for themselves as to whether they'd like to replicate their data sets then they can do that. So for open government data, you might find that one agency or a number of agencies would like to opt out. Uh, and this basically provides for the ability for any agency to opt in to replicating their data across the data.world. And uh, as Yaroslav mentioned, all it takes for them to do that is to create an account on data.world, grab the API key and, and add it into that configuration at the organization level. All right. CSV. So the data set has been created and this means it should be added to that world now. So we go to the user page here and you can see another test data set here. It was automatically added. So here you can see all the data. If you go to the data set here and we can update it. All the updates will push to that the world as well. So you can see it's updated.
uh, also it was mentioning that uh, all external resources like I use from data GovU, they they will be checked by cron jobs from time to time and the files will be updated on data.world so that it ensures that the data is up to date on data.world um so basically that's it so, so yeah it's just a early release at this stage some of the things that we've got um that we're looking to do for a second release would be around uh, a resource views and bringing more of the statistics that comes from data.world around the use of um, the, the resources themselves on data.world, who's following them, who's connecting to it, uh, some of the tags that might be auto-generated um, and bringing that into the CCAMP portal. And it's expected that, you know, this helps with showing the reach of your data sets from a data portal into other sort of data ecosystems where it might be, might get used. Um, so we're just, we're kind of interested to find out um, what people are thinking of this pattern for CCAN. Um, it's part of a, a broader pattern of use, I think, that's relevant to CCAN where you can have resource views which provide um, greater insights on data resources themselves. Um, uh, or you can have essentially kind of like resource containers, places which store the data um, which is essentially referenced on CCAN uh, from a catalog point of view in terms of its metadata description and, and other characteristics. So, and again, doing it at the organization level kind of opens up the opportunity that um, organizations can self-select. Uh, if you think about storage as a simple idea, um, organizations would be able to store um, data blobs, for example, into either S3 on AWS or into Azure. Um, give themselves their own sort of options around that and then manage cost control around egress and all sorts of things. So I think for CCAN it's a pretty good pattern and it's a pretty good demo of how we apply that pattern to a real use case. The code itself is on data.world's GitHub account so you're welcome to check it out. It's just called CCAN ext data.world and if you're interested in more about CCAN and building extensions then just go to ccan.org and follow the links about how you can get involved, contribute, or go to github.com slash ccan and check out all the work that's being done there by hundreds of people already in the community. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoy it.